From the Cruise Radio Mobile Studio, this is Cruise News Today on Location with Doug Parker. Good morning. Here's your cruise news for Thursday, October 5th. Norwegian Cruise Line has announced that it'll be eliminating spa category staterooms and suites, including those in the Haven, effective for sailings beginning January 1. Guests who booked a spa category stateroom before October 2nd will still retain their privileges, but in order to offer additional thermal suite capacity to all guests, Norwegian Cruise Line will no longer be offering free access to the thermal spa. Guests wishing to have a thermal suite access pass will need to pay for it. The change is being made in effort to provide more access to the thermal suite area. And Barbados welcomed a record number of cruise ship visitors during the 22-23 season with over 625,000 passengers across 362 port calls. This represents an 86% recovery rate from the pre-pandemic season. Looking ahead, the island is expecting another record-breaking winter season with 16 ships home porting there and the launch of several inaugural voyages. 25 cruise lines will call to the port of Bridgetown this season. And finally, Carnival Venezia made its inaugural call into Aruba this morning, greeted by some tugboats with a water cannon salute. The ship did a plaque exchange ceremony with port officials. Venezia is on a 15-night Southern Caribbean cruise that left New York City last Friday. The ship is currently sailing year-round from the Big Apple and will reposition to Port Canaveral later next year. And cruise line stocks were up on Wednesday. Carnival Corporation was up 2.8%, 13.09. Royal Caribbean up 3%, 89.36. And Norwegian up 3.8%, 16.46. If you have a lead on a story, send it my way. Tips at cruiseradio.net. Here in Aruba, at Eagle Beach, I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Have yourself a great Thursday. Cruise News Today is a production of Cruise Radio. For daily updates, subscribe to the Cruise Radio YouTube channel or visit cruiseradio.net.